On today's episode of Press This, we take a look at WP Touch Pro 3.0, find out what's new and likable about the update. And we'll take a look behind the scenes on how we evaluate our plugins and themes on Press This. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Press This. I'm your host, Matt. And I'm Dan. Dan, guess what? What's up? It's always a pleasure to see you. <laughs> I know, I shouldn't have said it. It's uh, always a pleasure to see me. This is the show where we take some of the awesome WordPress stuff, plugins, themes, news, report, talk, put them together, head to head, smash them up, down, sideways mm -hmm. uh, for your uh, WordPress enjoyment. Absolutely. We want to hit over a thousand subscribers. We're almost at 800, so go ahead and hit subscribe if you enjoy the show. Leave us some notes in the comments if you have notes, suggestions, yeah. tips, concerns, anything concerns, like that. Anything that you uh, want to see on the show, we want to hear about it. If you have a plugin that you want us to talk about or a question about a plugin we talked about, feel free to ask us as well. Before we get into the show, we want to talk about how we actually look at plugins, how we actually rate these plugins. And a lot of the comments that we get from you folks out there is, it seems like you're doing it pretty uh, unbiased. You guys aren't really picking any favorites. That's not true. We get... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we, we get paid in gold bullion. Yeah. <laughs> uh, a Brinks truck pulls up <laughs> and Studio Press drops off about three to 400 solid gold bars. Yeah. Uh, no. Uh, we, do, we do try to take a look at it uh, at a, in a very unbiased approach. Right. Uh, we create our own themes. Uh, we have some very minor plugins that we, we also develop, but we, you know, we're not saying no to one and, and yes to another. Right. Um, and today is no different because we're looking uh, at WP Touch 3.0. Mm -hmm. uh, we recently looked at WP Touch uh, in one of the earlier past episodes. Right. And should you use it WP Touch or should you just go responsive in your theme? And the reason we really want to talk about WP Touch is because it is the most popular way out there mm -hmm. and easiest way to make mm -hmm. your website responsive mm -hmm. so that you can see it on phones, tablets, mm -hmm. if you're operating on WordPress, of course. Yeah. Um, and WP Touch, you know, having just released this, I contacted them because I run another show where I interview WordPress entrepreneurs. I said, hey, I'd love to get Dane on the show or Dwayne on the show um, to interview him about uh, releasing this plugin and talking about the business. Mm -hmm. They sent me a press uh, version of this. We don't pay for every single. <laughs> yeah. Some people give us the free yeah. version, but that doesn't mean we don't. Yeah. We, you know, bend our, our, our review to yeah. say, yeah, this is great because they gave it to us for free. Right. Uh, we try to keep it right. as unbiased as possible right. using our own use cases when we've used it with clients before um, and what we think we, you will really yep. get mm -hmm. out of using this plugin. Um, and perfect example would be all the membership stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm really good friends with Pippin's uh, plugins. We, I don't even think we looked at his yeah. membership plugin. Um, you know, the one that we ended up picking, MemberPress, um, was actually, you know, and I'm good friends with right. Jason Coleman. Um, you know, his came in second place, you know, the things like that. We're not picking the winners just because they're friends with us yeah, or whatever. And I can, and I can say that from so far, and you can correct me if I'm wrong. And I think this is fantastic. The plugins that we get given to us are usually developers who are so passionate and believe so much that their project's good that they're willing to send it to us so we can let you folks know about it. Mm -hmm. Um, and so far so good. I, I think everything that we've, we've received like that has been a really, really good, well-made plugin. So yeah. And, and we think I think back to one of our very first episodes mm -hmm. where we looked at Backup Buddy. Yeah. And I said, hey, I don't think people are going to spend 79 bucks yeah. on this. And, you know, Corey, the owner of iThemes, you know, chimed in and said, hey, look, I, I think this is a total valid point for people to spend 79 bucks. Um, and, I, and I think so, too. Um, I just thought it was hard for people to say yes to spend 79 bucks for a backup plugin. Um, so, you know, we're, we're trying not to, yeah, we're not, we're not getting paid off here. Yeah. <laughs> we're not getting paid off here. Um, and, and I, and again, preface that because WP touch is one of those plugins that ever, for whatever reason, and I, I'm going to interview them, uh, in the coming weeks that everyone loves to hate. Yeah. I, you know, it's just, you know why? Because there's so many 
hardcore developers mm-hmm. and designers out there that like you don't use don't use a plugin to make your site mobile. Right. You dive into the code mm-hmm. and you make that code right. mobile friendly. Right. Whoa, I don't know code. You know, how, how am I supposed to do this without a plugin well, like then that? You can't make it responsive. That's right. Uh, and we're also going to hold. I'm also going to hold the feet their feet to the fire on pricing. But let's jump into WP Touch. Yes. Um, I, I'll just start. Uh, WP Touch t- uh, two. Mm-hmm was when we talked about it a a good f- decent fix to responsive web design and what i mean by that is it was it w- it was there and it worked you know all your stuff you know wasn't all over the place but it felt very appy to me and it felt like i was i was viewing my website through another thing it didn't feel like a natural extension of the brand of the website anything like that and while i think that it's pretty much, I mean, I'm going to, I'm going to go right out there and say it's impossible to have something like this that generates your, you a, a responsive website and make it completely your own. But what I will tell you is that the most brilliant thing about WP touch pro three is that it looks, it visually looks like a modern website design should. Everything is laid out the way it is, the way it should be. There's small little iconography, and you can actually we're going to show a video. You can actually uh, on here that you can actually drag and drop little icons around, upload your own images, um, and make it look sort of more like your own website. Um, very very easy literature on the website to change the desktop view if you're not happy with it, so you can see your brand, and just a really really clean modernistic approach to menu design, which was not present in two. Yeah, uh, a lot of this always falls on what does the mobile site look like, right? right? So I think part of the reason why maybe version uh, 2 and even below to 1.9, which is for free on Mm -hmm. WordPress.org, it was just a a long in the tooth kind of feeling. I mean, it it went, and I've listened to some interviews with them recently, and they said that, look, when we designed this four or five years ago, yeah, that's when that's the design that that right. everyone loved because it was iPhone, it was iOS, it was like the only mobile thing going, and that's what the, that's what their design take on it was, and, and they just never upgraded it, partly because there were some technical reasons of how the plugin was built, mm-hmm. but they were kind of scaling into this new business model, so they were you know slowly working right working their way into it. Mm-hmm. Plus, there weren't fifteen different or fifteen thousand different screen resolutions now. That that's why responsive yeah. has become so popular. Mm-hmm. Back then, all it was was the iPhone. Yeah. Right. And phones that had similar size screens to the iPhone. Yeah, but but they weren't really at the bleeding cutting oh, edge yeah, of right. of a real smartphone right. as we know them as we know them right. today. Right. Um. So they really couldn't they really couldn't make that pivot. Mm-hmm. Didn't have all those tablet options available. Well, they did, but they weren't again as popular as they yeah. are now. I mean, yeah. So four million uh, downloads in the in the free store. God knows how many they've sold. Um. I'll maybe talk. We'll find out. Maybe, yeah. maybe we'll maybe we'll find out when, when I interview them. <laughs> Uh, MattReport.com. Um, it, here's what I like: super sleek, mm-hmm. super fast now. Yeah. Right. Uh, and I'm talking about the admin setting this up. Um, there's a ton of things that you can you can really cut the fat mm-hmm. out of this. You can exclude yes. certain plugins from loading yep. in the mobile view. You can mm-hmm. exclude short codes from the mobile view. Yeah. Um, the theme, of course, like Dan was saying, is much much more sleek and sexy. Um, and now you've got the choice to. To, to get a bunch of other different themes um, to go along with it. Uh, everything is, you know, up to up to what they they portray on their website. Right. Really good looking, really sleek, really mm-hmm. fast. Yeah. Um, it's still not responsive. Mm-hmm. And, you, and it, that, you know, really doesn't matter in this case. You really have to say this is, and, he, and they, they talk about how they've built this for um, looking at browser agents. They want to target an iPhone they want to target an Android phone, right? Because responsive design, you have issues with it loading all the assets of a web page, right? So responsive design out of the box typically just takes a site this big yeah. with a thousand photos, shrinks it down to this big with a thousand photos that go down <laughs> here, right? Now there are some way, there are ways around that. There's you know all kinds of stuff that you hardcore developers and front end designers are going to say, yeah, you can do this, this, and that. But for the common folk out there, it just doesn't right. work that way. Right. So that's what they're going for with WP Touch. Common folk and targeting these mm-hmm. platforms or these phones so that you can do different things. Uh, so I love that. I love that. I love that the stuff that you can cut out of it. Let's talk about the pricing though. Yeah, sure. 60 bucks to start out, not bad. Not bad. But when you start scaling, if you are somebody who's selling this stuff yeah. to other people, I mean, we're talking Buko, 
Buko WordPress bucks. Yeah. Right? To get a developer version, which you're commonly, you commonly see a developer version gets unlimited everything. Right. You know. Yeah. Go, you know, you're, you're, you're all set. You've, you've paid me my flat mm -hmm. fee. Um, but, you know, uh, you, get, you get everything. The mm -hmm. kitchen sink. Yeah. This one for 400 bucks, which is, I think, the most expensive developer version plugin that I've seen to date. Yeah. Uh, even above Gravity mm -hmm. and Wishlist member. Yeah. You only get 25 domains supported with that, and that's 400 bucks a year. 400 bucks a year. <laughs> so, a lot of money. So it's a good chunk of change. Now, I personally, if you follow me on Matt Report, I think that we should be charging more. Right. So I love how they're pioneering this. This $400 plugin. This $400 plugin. But I think that they might be really jumping out there because then you say, what, am I, what about if I'm a developer who's – uh, selling these mobile sites to others. Right. Oh, don't you worry, my friend, right. because there's an enterprise version where it'll get you 100 domains for the cool fee of $700. A year. A year. <laughs> <laughs> it's expensive. And I like they break it down. Yep. Seven bucks a domain. Yep. So if you're out there saying, hey, Mr. or Mrs. Customer, I'll make your site mobile for mm -hmm. 500 bucks. Mm hmm it's only $7 your cost. Mm -hmm. and then all your time and stuff right. to, to configure each one. And that's and, that, and that's ultimately why I actually, I, I don't know if agree is the right term, term because you know I'm sure they have marketers out in their company that spent hours and hours and hours racking their head over what price they're going to charge. I'm not going to den deny that. Um, I don't mind the pricing. And, and the reason for it is what you just said. And I think that people are going, they know that their market, developers are going to develop their own thing. They're not looking over here. Good point. What, who's looking over here is somebody who is selling websites and marketing to maybe smaller businesses. And what they're saying is, here's a website package that is, you know, I'm going to write a web, make a website for you that's a for a thousand bucks or something. Oh, okay, per year. And then they say, and, and it'll be uh, able to read on smartphones and tablets. And the small business goes, oh, that's great. Well, it's a thousand dollars, and then you multiply that a few times for a few businesses, and now that's easy. That's an easy. That's an easy price. That's, that's my personal belief. But yeah. Um, so it's just interesting. I, I'm not against the model by any means. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's awesome. I think it's great to see, and, and this is not the discussion for the press, this, this is a discussion for yeah. the Matt Report. Um, but I think it's great yeah. uh, that, that, that they're pioneering it. I'm just worried about sticker shock from people that are like mm -hmm. just getting into selling stuff yeah. and they see that initial 400 bucks for a developer version. Wow, the other guys are only charging me 200 bucks. This is you know, mm -hmm. twice the price. Um, but I'm, sure, I'm sure we'll get comments about it. So yeah, I'm sure we'll we get can, comments. We can, discuss, we can discuss below. <laughs> yep. Uh, some of the other great stuff that I see inside WP mm -hmm. Touch, which again, I go back to a business model. Mm -hmm. Because remember, we always talk about ecosystems. What kind yeah. of ecosystem are we going to get into this and mm -hmm. with these plugins that we're buying? Yeah. You're going to start to see new themes come out. There are going to be new themes available uh, that they're going to design and sell through this plugin. Okay. Are we, you know, how many are we going to see? When are we going to see them? Right. How much are they going to be? How much are they going to be, yeah. You know? We'll find out. But what's the cool thing on this? They've got, you know, they, they're dubbing it CMS. Mm -hmm. So now you can take a content-heavy site and kind of build it, you know, narrow it down a little okay. bit. Put these little, maybe like having uh, widgets within widgets, you know, okay. some kind of meta craziness, right. right, that we're talking about, that you're now you can actually build your, your mobile site just like you built your WordPress site. Right. You know, so interesting to see where that's going to go. I think it's a really cool feature. I think yeah. it makes sense. Yeah, it does. It I think it makes sense because their argument is if you do responsive, you're loading all these assets, all mm -hmm. these images, files, photos, yeah. uh, videos, yeah. text. We want a, a quick mobile experience. Sure. Because you're on a, a mobile network. Um, and it looks good and it's fast. Yeah. And I love great. the feature set in the back end. So, yeah. So, overall, just a fantastic completely turn around if, if you ask me upgrade yeah. uh, taking it from well maybe to why not yeah I, I think that a lot of the uh, here's how you look at it we go back we talk about this with theme frameworks yeah how much time is it going to take me to build a mobile site you're right. building a site from scratch oh god you're ready to pull your hair out i'm gonna we're, we're gonna have a new i'm gonna create a new I'm going to create a new channel for yeah. it and it'll be, it'll just be me tearing my hair out and you get to see the different things. So, so if you're sitting back and you're saying, Oh man, I'm going to do a, a, a mobile site for my customer. And uh, man, I think I'm just going to do some media queries and responsive mm -hmm. stuff and I'll do all this, that, and that. Right. Uh, what is that? Two, three, four, yeah. five. Then the customer's not going to like it. Right. 60 bucks, go over to WP touch, load the sucker up. It's not responsive, but it doesn't matter. It's going to look good. It's going to run. It's going to do its thing. If they want to invest later in some unique uh, theme, then you go ahead and do it. Sure. Um, 
if it's a customer that has a custom home page and a custom theme, and this is going to give you some problems yep. still. It still doesn't alleviate that. Right. Just, that's still a develop, custom development process. Mm -hmm. you, you can't say, hey, WP Touch doesn't work with my custom homepage. Well, how can it? It's, it's custom it's code. Custom. How can WP, WP Touch know right. that your, your homepage is custom? It can't. Mm -hmm. Some of the other cool things is it actually scans your site and looks at the colors that you've selected. And it makes a recommendation. Here's how you should brand your mobile site yeah. based on your colors. I thought that was really awesome. Yeah, it's great. No, uh, no complaints. The, the back end looks fantastic on this. Really simple, easy to get through. It's like a checklist. Next, next, next. And there you go. Yeah. Uh, so I think it still stands. Uh, you know, if you, you talk about what's your time frame, do you need to launch a mobile site right away? This is the best way to go. Absolutely. If you're starting fresh and you're just building from scratch, you might pick a theme that's responsive, but do you, are you going to need all that stuff to get pulled down? Yes, no. Answer that question honestly. If it's no, then grab WP Touch and install it. Sure. If, if you want to be responsive, use a responsive theme. It's just a, a, another plugin you don't have to worry about, right? right? If you take that route. Mm -hmm. uh, we give it the same... Um, recommendation as we gave last same time. Same recommendation as last time, but with a, I think, higher marks. Higher marks. Yeah. Yeah. It scored, the plugin itself, this new version scored better. There's a lot of great things in here now. Um, it still comes down to, do I want to do this? But you should feel comfortable doing it. If you want to do it. If this you way. want to do this. Does that make sense? Let us know yeah. in the comments. Uh, so that's it. Uh, if you have any other comments or any other mobile plugins uh, that you uh, want us to review, let us know. We will take uh, anything and review them and give them back, give the information back to you. We just recently launched, relaunched slocumstudio.com. Uh, so go ahead, check out our site. If you need WordPress hosting, we do that. Uh, we got a new product called Slocum Launch, where if you are a, have a customer or if you are a customer and you just need to know, how do I use this plugin? How do I use WP Touch? Mm -hmm. uh, slocumstudio.com slash launch. Uh, and you can sign up for a launch program. It will actually review plugins and themes and strategize your WordPress site before you launch it. Right. Uh, most sessions are about an hour long and get everything answered all in that time. Mm -hmm. Hit subscribe. We want to hit over 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. Thanks a lot. Thanks, guys.